Hi lovelies. So today's episode is just basically a chat with my colleagues. We talk about different things from like um sexual experiences of people, you know, um the elusive orgasm and etc. Basically we just got into a whole conversation. So I brought out my camera to record. We also talk about like social media people just general bands, just general chat and i hope you enjoy it also many of them were shy to be on camera so i had to focus the camera on myself and even like stupidly to cycle fit into the frame just because they were shy to be in public talking about what we're talking but that's fine at least i hope you don't mind please don't mind if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you So my own thing there, why me I said that, why I agreed with like comments different from ejaculation is like <laughs> you're probably wondering how I got to discussing this, especially with my colleagues. I believe we we're talking about BBN and I was, you know, promoting Vogue Allison and then somebody brought up Hermes and his polyamorous relationship. So someone else didn't understand what that meant. And I was explaining what polyamory is. And then somehow, somehow we just got into this. I don't even know. I never thought I would discuss this on the internet, but here we are. I'm just like Chris Kid, I cannot explain, but enjoy. I have to uh, talk about how there some people that are into um um what do you call this chop what's that word um tantra Kamasutra. yeah but like yeah but like tantra so it's a, a kind of I'm not really sure of the details of it but basically what it means is that you can orgasm as a man but not necessarily ejaculate because ejaculating means that it takes some time to then go again but you can hold it but you still orgasm you get but for some obviously we, women women don't see unless something comes up women are like oh did you actually come but like there's something that are able to do that in tantra my own thing is that what he said about ideas about like is the idea of the woman not really the act that sometimes gets you there because the act sometimes becomes casual like regular when you've had sex for so long it's just like what makes it so special is the particular person you're having me I know this movie. I don't know if you ever saw her. Have you ever seen her? I think so. It's a movie about um this guy, the guy that played the um Joker. He was in it with um Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson was a robot. He was in a relationship with her, but they used to talk on the phone, and they used to have like phone sex and everything. They were in a relationship, so it was the whole emotional support and everything she was giving him, and like them having sex over the phone. So when I first watched that movie, I watched it twice. When I first watched it, I was like, "What is this rubbish that they are doing? What is the meaning of this rubbish? Is having um, phone sex and like being in a relationship with a robot?" But for him, it was the idea of it. That's why some people, even without like any actual action, they are able to orgasm just from like talk, not necessarily like from touch or anything. And I think that that's very interesting. Very interesting. That, that's why I said we women, right? Before we can orgasm, right? It takes a very long time. Before a woman can say, I came, I have come, it yeah. takes a long process. You have to do foreplay. Even the foreplay, you have to get it right. If you guys are doing penetration, there's a reading. Once you stop that reading, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yes. Like, it's, it's, it's hard I, work. I saw that thing. Because we women know yeah. that it is easy. Um, because we know that it's easy for guys. Mm -hmm. That's why guys do not really, they, they say we want to please you. And I, I actually get yeah. it when you are pleased. So they know so that it's already they're, hard they're, for yeah. men. I see all kinds of memes about mean, like, when well, you mean, change the I'm rhythm and the woman is like, ah. Oh. When you change the rhythm, <laughs> that's false. That's why some people, when they are in a relationship with someone that they actually like, let's mm -hmm. say three months gone, they're like, oh, let's try and spice things up. Yeah. Let's invite toys. So as I'm pleasing you, there's a toy on your kit. And you know, it's, it's just a different experience. Let's, let's try different stuff. And, you know it's good that's why and you know when they start inviting all these things it's actually because of the woman because it's actually very hard if somebody is with someone for six months i can bet you that it's from the third month that she it's just that it. she just like because she just then you understand yeah. the person's body mm -hmm. you know the person you are with you know what she likes you know what he likes you guys are so, comfortable so, so with each other the thing, but, uh, it's yeah. not what they the one man bam that they show you in hollywood the thing, thing, and, the thing is this but the thing is this but I, I feel like this ideology kind of like give off that men just men get satisfied easily you get and a lot of men right a lot of men who have slept with a lot of people can tell you that probably just one or two girls that have ever fucked them right 
But it's just, I don't know, maybe there's no yeah, room yeah. for that. Maybe there's yeah, no room for that. Maybe there's no room for that. Maybe there's no We actually feel that we deserve to be. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe there's no room for that conversation, right? Yeah. You guys, because if men, if men actually start fighting for their own satisfaction, are you getting me? Because sometimes, right now, me speaking from my personal experience, so when you sleep with somebody and you just like go over it and you just come and then post not clarity, it's you. <laughs> post not clarity right? kills me. And, and yeah. there's really nothing to hold. Doing? There's yeah. really nothing to hold on to. You know, we may just have to have that inside. Sit here. Yeah. Yes. You just go like in a flash. Waste of body counts. Do you know why? Because the man is not satisfied. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that they surround. That's why you see a lot of things. The like the downside of sex, but they always attribute it to the man. Like you see that. Like you only see a popular term to regard women non-performance or lack of performance um, or lack of respect. So like there's really no shameful terms for women. So this or, like, is that. Men, you know me, man. Yeah, two seconds, man. Two seconds, man. Yeah, it's not even right. There are insults for ladies. The, we, which are? Flat breast. Uh, no, no, they're not. Like, they're not that body part, no actual no, sex, this, whatever. This bullshit, like, but know. wait, no. It's because of society. You guys smelly, can't. Smelly pussy. You guys can't have it both ways, yeah. Women are not really encouraged to have sex or to experience or yeah. to have sexual women expertise. If a woman, if a woman has sexual expertise, the man will be like, Rachel, "Who they teach you these yeah. things?" Are they? So if you are, if I'm not practicing, I'm not expected to practice and all of these things. How can you then expect me to then have so actual have skills? And also, men are very sensitive. Uh, based on this same issue now, men are very sensitive about this. Once you have a man that, once you give him small feedback like this, yeah. Yeah. not really, yeah. but I'm on camera. How does it look? Am I in full frame? Am I? Yeah. I look cool. Yeah, the way I relax. Way I relax. Yeah. Okay, because I would hate to later have this material not like what I'm doing. I did it now. Ah. Brown skin boy. I'm not going to say, uh, guys, I'll do it with the tarot tip here. Uh, 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 am I not no, necessarily going to say? My colleagues stay oh, okay. Come on, talking. join the conversation. What is he talking about? Move closer. You should have one with your hands. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> This is Solomon Bucci, yeah. <laughs> okay, not Solomon Bucci, though that's a useless guy. <laughs> useless? Okay. Uh, what did he do? I know yesterday he was trending because he said his wife is not intelligent. It was not even yesterday, so it's not he said his wife is not intelligent. So he talked about uh, you might not be the most beautiful, the most what intelligent. Perfect. So the thing the was that. It's true that they need to be saying. Wait, so exactly. true. It was like, it was not. It's a universal. It was unnecessary. So the thing was, I was, telling, I was telling a friend that it sounded so. Okay, the guy now came on. Mm? In December 2016, mm. he tweeted that said, yeah. when I'm dating you, you are the most beautiful person to me. And his lack of. Wait, no. He not said. Yeah. It's not 2016, it was 2020. See, it was 2020, he said it. He said his lack of emotional intelligence for me to say that the person that I'm dating is not the most intelligent, is not the most beautiful to me. He said that, then he now showed the same lack of emotional intelligence in 2022. Let me tell you, nobody sort of you. When you talk too much, you talk rubbish. For me to say that um, you are not the most intelligent person, mm -hmm. meaning that I have seen other intelligent people and I have taken my problems to them and they have solved it. For me, but well, you have said this for you because so, so, we can so, help so, each so, other. So that's actually one way to look at it. So that's one way to look at it. And then again, he has like, first of all, he prided himself as like this creative writer. Mm. And he just, he wanted to talk about it. So, so when you yes, talk, so he just don't talk too much. You say, just come from you nowhere. Say, okay. I just say, Wait, but why don't you guys want to be on camera? Just I just want, want to camera be is weird. the wedding ring and send it to DHL from London back to this place. So, wait now, come and join the conversation back. I really care, I really care, love Simu. I really fell over. What do you mean that? The thing is that you know the you know the you know the, well, she the girl that she's fine. The girl is really pretty. Is pretty so my whole thing was that what I told my sister was when you want to speak about somebody like that, my sister was like, this is what he meant that he just meant like she's not perfect. I said most people just say you are not perfect, but I love you. They don't go into details. It was so specific. You're not beautiful or intelligent. Right. So when you want to say you're so brilliant, you're so brilliant, you're so brilliant. My is not like when you want to be. If you want to be, if you want to say, oh, this person is not perfect. Yes. I told my sister that what is. I was like, you can question my beauty, but don't ever question my intelligence. That's a problem. So like, question my beauty. Maybe one day she comes up on this one, she doesn't know how many guns she's not even intelligent. 
So like, I'm like, I trust the type of one day. Oh, one day, she will say something. I saw a tweet. Where no one has so much. When she first met him, and she told him that he had, she had a first class and all of that in actual science. He gave her difficult he gave questions. Her questions so, are you serious? That already has it. So he is a narcissist. People were calling him a narcissist on shade. I don't think we can conclude this. Excuse me. Why are you asking me questions? Why are you questioning me? Why is your love? Condition now. Yeah, you Come, then that's not what I called you for. <laughs> that's the last thing that annoys me. He used to claim feminism. We now claim that he has one become born again, so he cannot be a no he cannot be a feminist again. Yeah, no, what he is is somebody that um, what's he called pandas no, and tweets true. things for the sake of trying to become that's popular, so that he can leverage and make money and monetize them. That doesn't mean that I have to roll with him here. The guy. Yeah, you know, I just, so I'm like, if you're going to, if you're going to insult, you hate that stew. Ah, why are you bad mouthing this stew now? It's bitter. First of all, men's taste in food is questionable. Not all men. That's it. That's my my current position right now. But, eh? It's when you say something, no. I generalize. You get. I will just bring you back. Obviously, I know it's not all men. I already made. Something that you I already made. You know what? You know what? Because, 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 because that's actually sex. No chill. I actually want to be this conversation. No, 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 no. When we make true accusation, most of the time, you get. You can like literally say something about one particular woman, right? Yes. Or a set of women. Yes. And because somebody knows somebody that is not, and they say you are sexist for generalizing. For assuming women are this, right? And me, I'm actually on learning. I don't make generalization again. But one thing I will not take is you don't serve it back. Yeah. So you see that song, you're gonna be putting it there. Some men have bad taste because yeah. the best chefs in the world are men. The, the best chef, like you can literally go and check it. That's because men are giving the opportunity, the platform, and what's the call education to do these things. Because it's a man's world. Oh, when it's free that's, labor, that's chill. That's when is when is free labor? That's that man's world. Wait. When is free labor? <laughs> when is free labor? You expect your wife to cook, mm. but when it comes to chef, then mm. a man is best in chef, mm. in chef behavior. I don't expect best in chef. Um, okay, so let's say some men again. Yeah. I'll be back to I, some men. I, I expect us to act as a what with the job this night. Whether the kitchen are going to do it. That's you out of how many men. Hey, hey, that's what you say. So many. So many. Please, I beg. What about you? Right now, we just gas. We don't agree like this. Say, now nah, some men. You get some men know how to cook. See, some men don't know how to cook. We're not a um, behavior biologist or uh, whatever they call these things, psychologist. Yeah. We can't say that if I make a statement clearly, I mean some or I mean many. I cannot say all. I've not done any research to prove that it is all. Yeah. So whenever I say something, even if I don't say something, So me, I mean that you can be wrong. Like, because most of the time you're supposed to make, before you make such statements, before yes. you make such facile generalization, I believe you probably would have done your research to be able to say, okay, men have bad taste. Because you can't just out of nowhere no, say men No, not bad, bad taste. taste. In terms of easily pleased with food. Not bad taste. Like, obviously, you know when salt is not good or when the food is not. I think that's just anybody. I'm not easily pleased with food. Although I'm a hungry girl. And, and nice. I'm a, I, we have a shoe. So I will drag so I will drag everything back to you. Like just imagine we are making all this generalization just because of you. <laughs> you. No, 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 no. It's not about me. No, it's not about me. Like for example, now I would say that in terms of food, my partner is more picky than I am, but I would still make statement that men are more easily pleased with food. In fact, my brother in law is more picky with food. I will eat. He will eat, he will reject it. I don't have Oh my god. I'm picky with what I eat, but I was like, in terms of taste, if it's I'm something that would be cute, I'm not going to eat it. Me, personally, I think it's absurd, yeah, that you have to look everything through gender gaze, like, generally. I feel like I feel like yeah, because yes, you take away certain things like personality, people individuality. Exactly. You just when you say you see the way you just drive it now down. The reason those yes, men, yes. the best chef in the world, is because of the world, blah 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 blah. You know, if anything, I will still make this argument at one Google now. You yeah, find that like the best chef are women. Exactly. That's the funny thing. So like, sometimes like, no, I would just say trap. Like you say when I say when I said the best chef in the world are men, yeah. and you're like, oh, it's because they give men, blah 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 blah. You will find that we'll go and do the research now, and you find out that there are, there are more women on the list than you men. See that, you see that more women are better cooks than men. So it is actually was the culture that the person that's supposed People to be like the most say, popular chef or men, the highest paid men, chef or something mm -hmm. is a man. Mm -hmm. And I do think that you cannot deny mm -hmm. the what's it called the role that opportunity plays in things. Yeah, right? in everything. In, yes, you cannot deny, and it is clear that men do get more opportunities. It might be that maybe women are not trying. 
but also if you check the reasons why they are not trying is it because they are not trying because you think that you will not get it or you think you are not trying because it's something that you already do for free and that you are expected to do anyway so it is not really amazing when you do it the same things that come into play just basically shall we have to recognize these factors but while we start what is it she, down? she was making a point that like about women's satisfaction how women can like probably be with like a lot of guys and the only time they like get orgasm mm. or like that prime satisfaction mm. is just like very few times. Yeah, yes, of course. And I was like, one conversation we really have mm. is that even for men, right? Mm. Satisfaction is not really like tied to our the father who can come, right? Doesn't mean satisfaction. There are a lot of men who tell you that oh they've slept with so so person, but like there's just one person that I've ever given them like fire bang. So, do you get? I would say, I would say that's not a reasonable judgment from any guy that says that. Okay. Because satisfaction comes to a man mm. when he gets to that climax. Yeah. And ninety-nine percent of that time, yeah, almost every man gets to that point. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Do you Call get? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. But ninety-nine percent of that same time. Mm. You can count over in a hundred. You can count ninety-nine women who have not gotten to that climax. Yes, yes. Um, so she's right when when she says women don't exactly get. Because I think she said yeah, that. So, so, yeah. so me like I've had conversations with a lot of guys, mm. right? And when they, you know, you know the way guys talk about all their escapades now. Yeah. So half of the time, I just keep looking for that point in the conversation right, where yeah. they mention that oh this baby got to this climax yeah. but then I never hear it it's just yeah. them do you understand yeah, what yeah. I'm saying so it's most times it's only the it's only the guys that actually get to the point yeah so so my so that's why I say satisfaction yeah. is relative it's, it's, so and my so my, way, my let me finish yeah. and good sexual experience comes to those who communicate yeah oh it worked it worked why is communication so hard you have to talk you have to talk you have to say yeah, but like for many when, women, when because i know somebody that was seeing two guys eh? none of them was making that orgasm i yeah. said how can you be seen two guys at once so now the problem might not even be the guy yeah, he yeah. might be very good at what he does but she needs to see so as as them, as well. as that yes. right? You need to Sexual see what, stuff, what, what makes you... If you want you to enjoy sex, mm-hmm. you have to be emotionally tied to that person. Like, mm-hmm. enjoy it. For guys... No, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say something. I agree not emotionally, like, emotionally, like, not to be person. More like, you are attracted to this person. So you cannot say yeah, when the person is not attractive. yeah you have to be physically attracted to the person in, enough to want the person and you know tear the person's cloth and yeah. say yes I want to do it with this person because when you have this this attraction it's easy for you to be relaxed easy for you to enjoy the process enjoy the moment get to tell the person oh don't kiss here like this you are doing it like as if you are a frog oh do this <laughs> I like it when you tear me like a lion things like that you get to communicate and yeah like it's easy for you to communicate with this person but if it's is someone that you are not attracted to it's going to be hard it's going to be hard it's better to have communication before now Uh and another thing where women fail is that they expect guys to be another thing that women fail is that they expect guys to be to be witches and with that to know to where read your mind. to read your mind to expect like but women like, should actually it's try not it's different from everybody it's how do you and know without masturbation though what do you say how do women know what they like without masturbation it's not you don't you don't need with you, number one you don't even need you don't even need um, masturbation to know what you want so you can have <laughs> your camera will be casted to the walls <laughs> We're yeah, talking about crazy. sex, baby. I'm talking about, I'm talking about fornication. That, that conversation is very old. Not everybody wants to marry. I think sometimes that is it's our YouTube channel. So yeah, you Hi guys, welcome. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Sulala's channel. We're talking about sex, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Let's talk about you and me. I'm done talking. No way. You're talking about time. Don't talk about sex. When the guy is doing something. Oh, I'm saying. You said it's not only about masturbation, that when the guy is already in the process... No, you, are, you asked a question he, saying you know, that how will you know what you want without masturbation and everything. Number one, it's not every lady that knows how to masturbate at first. I mean, it's when you, you 
and find the partner that you're with and maybe when you guys are exploring your bodies he touches this place like, ah this is nice ah, this is, ah. mad 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 and he turns your back and he draws line with one finger <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 somebody <laughs> will, will. and he pecks here and he pecks here and you know and he and he pecks maybe your lower back and you're like oh no no nothing is happening here i mean it's this thing actually happens to if you're in a proper relationship and you like your the person you're with both of you can explore your bodies and say, oh, this is what I like, this is what I like. Then, then you get to discover yourself, to get to know what works for you as a person, as a girl. So that the next partner you have is not going to suffer. So you can learn it so that you can carry your skills elsewhere. Exactly. It's like, it's like, like it's a Okay, it's a <laughs> That's interesting.